uh, Heather Annette asked what should we should focus on as spiritual people, I assume. Sustainable living, climate change, or societal cultural issues, things of that nature. Um, those things are good to focus on, but they still tend to be quite lateral, meaning they, they tend to be of the earth and of the world, and, and they also there tends to be within those subjects for people uh, little booby traps of reaction and upset. And so some people can work in the energy of, for example, sustainable living, and they can do it with bliss and with love and creating permaculture systems, and it's super rad and awesome. Other people get real mad at Monsanto and get real upset at the government. And so it depends on where your energy is with any issue if you want to help. Truly, what you need to do, what we all need to do to focus on bringing in a new earth is our own vibration and finding ways to raise that vibration, even when it's hard. You know, even when we're in relationships or situations that are hurtful and hard and we're climbing out, it feels like life's about climbing out sometimes. Even though we've got these looping narratives of which I just spoke, even, even so, the work is finding your way back to that condition of alignment and that condition of connection with higher self and higher, higher and, and with source. And see, people, when they hear that, they think, okay, that means I have to ohm. I have to like get my crystal ball out and I got to do that for three hours to raise my vibration. But it's much simpler than that. I call it the bliss discipline. And if we could only just do that, just do the bliss discipline, what is that? The bliss discipline concerns identifying five to ten things for you for you that make you feel happy that make you feel joyful and make you feel love all of those things are interchangeable words for the same thing that's happening in terms of a physical thing that's happening in your body joy bliss passion playfulness love that's all part of the same thing where does that live for you one thing that I love to do, see that my husband hates to do, so this isn't raising his vibration, but I love to go sing karaoke. <laughs> I love to get up there and sing, and sing in a mic, and I just love music. And it's not like I'm changing the world, but I'm changing my own vibration. The bliss discipline involves finding things like that. It can be gardening, it can be cooking, it can be swimming, it can be nature walks, it could be chanting, it could be whatever it is for you that really gets you in that space and then making it a discipline to do it more. Just as you make meditation a discipline, or you should, or prayer a discipline, or you should, you ought to make that a discipline that is just as important, if not more, because it's putting you into contact with a higher vibration that will change you if you hang out in that vibration. If you can fill up and saturate, align and then saturate with high vibration and then just go to the grocery store and smile at somebody, be kind to somebody, help somebody, or just stand there vibrating at a higher level, you will change the people around you. You will shift their consciousness. That's the way energy works. High energy always changes low energy. Also, energy can talk to energy. That's the nature of energy. Energy recognizes energy. If you fill yourself with whatever that is for you, whatever bliss is for you, and then go out like a satellite, like a beacon, and engage the world, interact with the world, you change the world. You haven't signed up with a political party, you haven't become an activist necessarily, but you have shifted it more powerfully than most of those people are doing right now because they're not coming at it with the right energy. They're not. They're coming at it from a different orientation and a different space. So the work of the light worker, the spiritual person, is to find the sources of energy. Find the outlets and plug into them. Fill up and then be, exist, shine your light. Don't hide that under a bushel. Just be around people. You know, there's people in our lives, some of which are very negative, Debbie Downers. If we find the outlet, plug in, and just vibrate for a while, you know, just love it and, and hang out and be in the energy of that karaoke or cooking or whatever it is for you, and then go hang out with those people, just stand by them for a little while. They will change. They will change. Wayne Dyer talked about this a lot. He talked about a specific song that he would listen to as he drove 
to work or, or commuted somewhere, he would listen to this song, he'd hook into it like you would hook into a power source, and he vibrated with it, it's resonant tuning, and traffic would clear. He'd look over, everybody's smiling, people are dancing in their car, getting no reds, all greens, all day, every day, and that's how he did it. He didn't have to talk to them. He didn't have to teach them anything. He just had to be in his car, listening to his high vibration music, resonant tuning with it, and he was changing not just him, not just his day, which is gonna be awesome, but everybody else on that road, on that day. That's how you do it. That's what the focus should be.